I'm sorry, I'm not uh, supposed to comment. Wait, wait, one dead here in St. Louis and two dead in Los Angeles and you can't comment? Two. Yes, and a dozen more sick. What are we dealing with? Some new outbreak of a plague? Of course not. Excuse me. Okay. Never mind. Here she is. Uh, Dr. Blumenthal? Yes. Yeah, hi, I'm Harold Williams, medical. Oh, hi. There, what a mess, huh? I know. Sorry we couldn't pick you up at the airport, but we lost our first patient just an hour ago. And two dead in L.A. Yeah. It's no false alarm. False alarm? This is hardly a false alarm, doctor. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Fine, let, let, let's go. Yes, of course. Where would you like to start? Um, the body of the initial patient. monitoring him during his last few hours and at the end he was bleeding and clotting at the same time bleeding from every orifice disseminated intravascular coagulation this is one virulent organism did you know him yes dr carl kaprisky he was senior on staff here and a good friend i'm sorry that's a strange coincidence the initial patient in los angeles was also the head of the clinic Look at this numular eruption. There was one in the first patient in LA, the same thing. What does this look like to you? Look like? What, what do you mean? Well, I don't know. It just has a sort of familiar pattern to it. Is this what you're looking for? No. Oh, I don't know, just anything that'll give us a little something to go on. You people don't have any idea what this is, do you? Dr. Williams. You don't know a damn thing, do you? Big deal CDC marches in here with an investigator younger than my own daughter pretending to know what you're talking about. Doctor, yeah. this has nothing to do with my age. This case has absolutely this nothing case, to do with This case is an outbreak from L.A. to St. Louis, and I want the damn first team of the CDC in here this afternoon. I really don't think This that afternoon, do you understand me? Yes, sir. Good. Ralph, it's me. I'm sorry to wake you. What's wrong? Are you all right? <sighs> yeah, physically I'm fine. Are you in St. Louis? How'd you know? I heard. How's it going? Great. So everybody knows that I was fired from Los Angeles. You weren't fired? Yeah, dismissed. It's your first job in the field. Don't be so hard on yourself. How's it going at St. Louis? Well, it seems to be the same thing as in Los Angeles. The chief of staff just demanded that I bring in the first team. Did you call Duke Jack? Yeah, he's on his way. Ralph, this is really scary. I mean, for all I know, I could have this thing. Back up. Nobody knows what it is. Because the media has jumped all over it. The people in St. Louis are panicking, that's all. I wish you were here in bed with me. <laughs> me too. But... I'm not. I should get back to work. Do you love me? Not yet. But maybe soon. Well, I can wait. Okay. Good night. Come on, let's go. We've just got reports from our labs in Atlanta. They are 99 percent certain it's Ebola. What? Ebola? Ebola? Ebola. All right, let me, let me answer that question. Let me answer that question as thoroughly and as truthfully as I can. Unfortunately, Ebola is the deadliest virus known to mankind. Oh. Oh, the mortality rate is 90 percent, and the rate of progression of the disease is extremely rapid. Death generally follows the original infection by less than two weeks. Uh, we first saw this in Zaire in 1976. 
came on mysteriously and killed thousands and then disappeared just as mysteriously. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there is no immunization and there is no treatment. So how are we supposed to protect ourselves and our personnel? Ladies and gentlemen, please. We're giving you the cold hard facts because we need you. We need your help, so please, just listen. Thank you, Dr. Holloway. Excuse me, All right, there are some steps. Excuse me, my name, there are some steps my name we is can Edna Hopper, and I uh, was Dr. Prinsky's secretary. I was constantly in contact with him during his last days when he was bleeding. Miss eyes nose. Uh, we want to test you. Uh, you're going to have to be tested. And we're isolating the hospital, and uh, no one who's had any unprotected contact with any of the patients will be allowed to leave. You're telling me I'm going to die, aren't you? I'm infected, aren't I? Now, there's no reason to panic. As we have seen, the oh, virus no, has not moved beyond the original cases in Los Angeles, so we can assume that it will follow a similar course here in St. Louis. Chances are that there are I'm going to die, aren't I? Well, that's not true. You're just going to be quarantined for a little while, that's all. Look, I know you're scared. I am too. Just try and calm down, okay? Maybe you can help us. I need to ask you a couple of questions. When I examined Dr. Kapersky, I found a round welt on his shoulder. Do you have any idea where that came from? No. I also found a wound on his head. A wound? Yes, an abrasion, a deep one under his hair. Dr. Brown. He was mugged two weeks ago. Dr. Brown. What does that have to do with anything now? He's dead. seal it, and I want you to take it to Atlanta. You're sending me away again, Dr. Holloway? I have got work to do here. Look, you'll be grateful. You can get out of here. Well, look, with all due respect, I Just really... do it! You two keep your voices down. The last thing I need now is to have my team appear divided. Rissa, I can't afford to have this stuff traveling around the country unescorted. 